Hey everyone, welcome back. I've moved outside to the traffic circle and I'm so excited because it is time for our pet of the week. And normally we're used to cats and dogs, but we have something a little bit different today and it's just in time for Easter. So I wanna welcome Swaz Forsyth from Animal Friends. Good morning. Good morning, nice to see you. Nice to see you. So who do we have here today? We actually have Donnie. Donnie, Donnie the Hall and Lop. He's a three and a half year old neutered male and He's looking for a home. Oh, so cute. Now, from what I understand, rabbits are often misunderstood. Is that right? They are. The challenge is, is that, you know, everybody has a cat or a dog. Everybody knows somebody who has a cat or a dog. Um, so you, you kind of know how to take care of them. It's almost by osmosis. But with rabbits, if you have a pre preconceived um, notion of rabbits, you often think that they're a, an animal that lives in a cage, but they're actually not. They're fabulous companion animals, and they share our homes nowadays just like cats and dogs. Yeah, now clear something up. I've seen people walking rabbits on leashes. Now, are, are they trainable? They're absolutely trainable. Um, rabbits are litter trained. They can be litter trained. Um, they actually can do agility too. Wow. Yeah, so it, they're very smart animals. They're very smart. They can train their owners what cords not to put on the, the uh, in the area for them to chew too. Oh, I feel like I need a rabbit to help train me. <laughs> now, how are they with kids? Um, the rabbits, people always think that, you know, especially with Easter time, they think that rabbits and kids go together. Um, the challenge is, is that, you know, kids want to be kids and um, you need to have an adult supervisor to make sure that the rabbits are being taken care of because they're prey animals, they hide their illnesses. Um, we, uh, the rabbits are just wonderful, wonderful creatures and um, we want to make sure that the, the kids are paying attention and they're, they're doing what they need. And that's the great thing about animal friends is when you come to animal friends to adopt, we get to make sure that this is the right commitment for you. Yeah. Kids, because they're young, you know, they have their whole life ahead of them to do things as a kid does. Rabbits can, can live anywhere from 10 to 16 years nowadays. What? Yeah. Wow, I had no idea rabbits could live so long. So if you're interested in adopting this cute little creature here, how, how does that work? And is it any different since COVID? Yeah, the great thing with Animal Friends is we call to make an appointment. And um, in that time, you get to schedule your time with the adoption counselor and they get to go through everything that they need to go through in a, in a uh, calming time so that you know exactly what you're doing, what you're getting into. And that's our goal at Animal Friends is to make sure that it's a good loving home. Oh, thank you so much, Swaz, for you. bringing him by. He's so cute. He's oh, all right, we're gonna send it back to you guys in the studio. Heather, I think he has your name written all over him. <laughs> I'm all Whoa. in. Rocco would love him. I'm all in. I think it's, I think it's a really neat pet to have. If the girls see this, yeah. yeah, I'm in. I want a bunny and I want a pig. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We're just going to have our own little farm. <laughs> I think that sounds like fun.